Welcome to another episode of With Summit Fire. I'm Deputy Chief Don Nelson, and today we're going to show you uh, what it's like to go down into a basement fire. Uh, we're going to simulate a basement fire with a rescue and a hose team. Uh, we, we're lucky enough to have a builder in town that donated a house to us, uh, so we've been using that for the last three or four weeks, and uh, we truly appreciate that donation. It helps us out a lot to, to get some realistic training. So in a little bit, we're going to show you what it's like to go down into a basement that we don't know what it's like. You'll see some smoke at the top of the stairs. You'll see guys uh, crawling around looking for a victim. You'll see some uh, what we call tick or infrared camera footage. It'll show the firefighters uh, doing their job. So I hope you find it to be very interesting. And thanks for viewing. All right, so here we have the guys getting ready for the drill. Uh, mind you, these guys are on duty. So we're doing this training while we're on duty. Uh, this was uh, late June. The temperature was about 94, 95 degrees. So uh, we're doing the training while the uh, temperature doesn't help us out too much. But it's something we have to do. We train in all kinds of weather, whether it be heat, cold, rain, snow. We have to train. So guys are getting ready to do uh, the training up on uh, the house that was donated to us by a builder. So you can see they're, they're donning their, their turnout gear. Their radios, uh, the, the firefighter in the front is donning his jacket, the firefighter in the back here is donning his uh, turnout pants along with his uh, life, har life safety harness. You notice the hoods around their necks. Here they're putting on their SCBAs. Uh, even though the training smoke that we use is uh, not harmful, we like to practice as we play, as they say. So we don all of our gear, um, SCBAs on the back, helmets, Again, this firefighter is donning his SCBA. Notice the flashlight, the orange piece of equipment, that's a flashlight. The blue webbing is his life safety harness. And now we're going to uh, walk up to the house. And uh, in a real scenario, we would be you know, checking out the house while we walk up to it to make sure we can, we can do a pre, uh, arrival. We'll, on arrival, we'll look and make sure there's where the fire is or smoke showing, anything like that. Now uh, these guys have been assigned to, as a rescue team. The hose team has already stretched the hose line inside. Uh, they're fighting a the fire. They're don these firefighters are donning their SCBA face pieces so they can go into the smoke environment. And these guys are the rescue team. So it's important that we put on all of our safety equipment. Uh, due to the heat, I had given them permission not to use their, uh, their hoods. So they're just donning their helmets checking their bottles, making sure they have all the proper equipment. And they're going to make their way inside. Now if you notice the air is pretty clear here, they're following a hose line to the basement. The hose line is already in the basement operating to extinguish the fire. Uh, this is the rescue team or the search team, so they're looking for the victim that was reported in the basement. They're carrying tools with them. So they need tools in case they get trapped so they can help you know, get their way out of the building. It also extends the reach of their arms. Now if you notice they're going down the stairs, you can see some smoke. The smoke is coming up out of the basement. If this were a real fire, there'd also be heat. So they'd be a little lower. They go down the stairs backwards. In case the stairs are not there, they, they have all their weight facing up instead of down. And this is inside the basement. The flashlight is penetrating the smoke, but it doesn't really help that much. The guys are crawling around. They don't know what the inside of the basement's like. So they're trying to find their way, they're doing a search. You can see they're moving around, a little bit of smoke. Again, they're crawling on their hands and knees. They don't know what the conditions are like in the basement, so we try to stay as low as possible. As if this were a real fire, there'd be a lot of heat up at the ceiling. Here they're just organizing themselves. They're following the hose line, which is on the ground. Now this is me at the top of the stairs talking to another firefighter that I'm sending downstairs to assist with the search. He's got a tool in his hand. Yeah, here you can see the smoke. So here we're back in the basement. Guys are crawling around. So this is an unknown basement to them, so they're trying to search the entire basement to look for that victim here. They found it, found the victim. This is our, uh, we made a mannequin out of old hose. Now if you notice that red light on that firefighter, that's part of his pass alarm or firefighter safety alarm. When that turns red, that means he has a move for 20 seconds and then you notice it went green. 
so that means he's okay. Helps us find him if that happens. So here are the guys just trying to get that mannequin or, the, or as we say, dummy out of the basement. Um, you can see there's still smoke. Now, remind you, there's a host team down there fighting the fire. Now, this is a view through our TIC, our thermal imaging camera or infrared camera. This sh works off of temperature, so over in the upper right-hand corner, you can see the temperature in the basement, 73. Mind you, it was 95 degrees outside, so there's a 20 degree difference. But this, this will measure the temperature in the basement. Obviously, the firefighters are a little warm, so they show up as white images. So you can see them crawling around. They're removing the, the, the victim. And here they're crawling around again, trying to make their way out. Back to the stairs. Flashlight helps a little bit. They're trying to get together to bring the victim up the stairs. Again, we're back to the thermal imaging camera. Shows the guys working in the basement. Anything that's warm will be white. Here they're picking the victim up. And the, vic the, the our mannequin weighs about 100 pounds, 125 pounds, so it's a little bit lighter for training, but in reality we can be moving someone that weighs, you know, 300 pounds to 80 pounds, anywhere. They could weigh anything. We don't know what we're going to find. They're making their way up the stairs, carrying the victim, getting their way to the top, victim's out, and they're out, those two guys are out of the basement. Now they're going outside, their mission's been accomplished, so they're going to make their way to the outside. The firefighter in a white helmet's the incident commander or the interior commander. They're reporting to him that their mission's completed. There's our victim outside, our homemade uh, mannequin made out of old hose. You hear radio talk in the background. And we're just assisting the guys off with their, with their air packs. Again, it's a 95 degree day. So uh, again, these guys are on duty, so they're a little spent from training and they still have to work their normal shift. But uh, we have, this is how we do it in Summit. We have to train while we're on duty. And the guys are just taking their, gears, their gear off the battalion chiefs assisting them. Our, our drill is basically over at this point. Um, so this is just to give you an idea of what it's like to work in a basement full of smoke. All right, well, here we are at the end of our training session. Hopefully you get to see a little bit of what it's like to go into a basement fire. Uh, obviously, we can simulate the smoke, but we can't simulate the heat because in a real basement fire, the heat would be coming up the basement stairs, so we'd have to go down the stairs really fast. Um, but hopefully you got an idea of what it's like to go into a basement we don't know anything about. Uh, hopefully you can see some of that infrared camera recording, uh, just to give you an idea of what that's about. So again, we want to thank the builder for donating the house, and we, want, we look forward to filming more episodes with HTTV.